Experiencing homelessness, of course, is challenging year round, but many of those challenges are compounded this time of year as the temperatures drop and those winter months move in. Del Shook and Shadow come as a pair. He's a great companion, great companion. You know, he just, he's there with me. He gave me a, a sense of uh, somebody to take care of. Shook says things have been hard for a while now. I've been out here for uh, probably about almost 10 years. This time of year especially comes with extra challenges. Trying to stay warm, you know, just uh, warm blankets, warm clothes, you know. Um, uh, uh, if it's raining, you know, maybe, you know, it, where it's dry. My main goal is make sure nobody dies, make sure nobody freezes. An advocate for people experiencing homelessness, Daniel Adderhold says the winter months elevate his fears. And people are dying. We have lost a lot of people out here from the cold. Us community members are going out here to help the homeless as well because they can't do it all on themselves. We got to be out here. We got to help them with blankets, sleeping bags, tents. And as Sacramento continues to struggle with its homelessness crisis, fire crews are cautioning against fires in encampments. Many times those are just uh, warming fires, but at the same time, those are threats to our community because they are a, uh, a source that could potentially uh, grow into a much greater fire. Shook says he's looking for work and doing his best to find a more permanent home for him and Shadow. Trying to be stable so we can find work. That he'll do his best for them both. This is my family member. This is a family member. It's not a dog. He helps me out a lot. He does. And Shook told us that one of the challenges that he faces in the winter is trying to find a shelter or warming center that does allow him to bring his dog with him. And that's an issue that Adderhold says that he's taking on. He wants to see more shelters allow animals and wants to see more than one animal allowed in the shelters that do take them. He says that's an issue that he is really pushing to fix in Sacramento. In Sacramento, Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News. Well, we know that there's just a lot of need out there, Leanne. Thank you.